So, uh, I think everyone has been feeling the impact of increased gas prices, besides those degenerate cyclists, which no one likes. But there are some very significant details the mainstream media wouldn't tell a soul. This past week was crazy, guys. I had to fill up my gas tank three times, spending about $60 each time on the lowest grade gas, like 87 Whereas normally I have to fill up every week and a half to two weeks. Yeah, maybe I drove a little more than I usually did, but to fill up my tank three times, something's off, guys. So not only has gas gone up almost double over the span of two years, around $5.50, $6 a gallon in New York now, these people in charge, whether it's the oil company, the transport company, are putting something in the gasoline to reduce fuel efficiency. I've been told by my viewers it was ethanol, and what got me more convinced was how difficult it is to find any information on this online. You can't Google search it. When you put in like watered down gas, nothing really comes up. No one talks about it. You can find information on ethanol, but not that they're using it to water down the gas. And with ethanol being 2.5% the price of oil, it raises some questions. That's crazy. You know, 2.5%. Imagine paying 20 cents a gallon for ethanol gas. Oil giants reap record profits as war rages in Ukraine. Energy prices soar. Here's how much they made. Exxon doubles profits from last year to $5.48 billion. So how have oil companies' profits doubled if the oil prices are allegedly going up? Shouldn't their increased cost of oil to produce the gasoline offset their profit margin? Yeah, if they weren't lying to us and instead they're actually just fabricating stories, faking a shortage, and increasing the gas prices to line their pockets when their cost of goods isn't as much as they're leading us to believe. But they have to do more than that. People will start driving a lot less once prices go up only driving when necessary, to work, to school. So those degenerates in charge simply water down the gas with ethanol to reduce the miles per gallon in all drivers to offset that reduced gas purchasing from people trying to save money or people that just can't afford to drive as much. Fuel producers refine ethanol from 100% pure grain alcohol. Although ethanol helps the world meet its commitment to pollution reductions, Ethanol also decreases the gas mileage a person gets from their car. Ethanol usually gets mixed with gasoline, with concentrations usually not going past 85%, called E85. Ethanol's effect on a car's fuel efficiency depends on the blend that the person uses. E85, for instance, reduces fuel economy by 7 to 8 miles per gallon when compared to gasoline, according to the EPA. Ethanol has 34% less energy than gasoline per gallon, which equates to about 2 to 3 miles per gallon for E10, 10% ethanol, according to the New York Times. So they have E10 and E15, which are 10 or 15% ethanol, and E85 flex fuel, which is 51 to 83% ethanol, but yeah, it's probably 83% because of how much cheaper ethanol is. Those E10 and E15 are the base fuels in most gas stations. Now, if you put E85 in a regular engine, your fuel efficiency will go way down and there might be some engine damage if you continually use it long term. If I had to place a bet, I would say they're putting anywhere from 30 to 50% ethanol in the gasoline instead of the advertised amount. Whatever the scientists have figured out to be the maximum limit before causing engine damage quick enough for the consumer to notice. So you think you're paying five to six dollars per gallon, which again is crazy compared to the two dollars per gallon just two years ago. In actuality, with the gas being higher in ethanol, I would bet you're paying close to nine or ten dollars a gallon because of the reduced fuel efficiency. They're really sucking money from the masses in every way possible. And I'm assuming there are specific gas stations or types of gas the people in the club are purchasing. Maybe they have to go to a specific company or purchase super or ultra instead of regular. The normies get their pockets gouged while the chosen people 
pour regular gasoline into their cars by pressing a different button on the pump or going to a specific station down the street. Yeah, I mentioned this at the end of uh, my video last Saturday and a couple of you guys noticed the same thing. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below. That is, it was just so crazy to me. You know, I spent $180 in gas in one week. I was like, look, like this is getting, this is getting ridiculous. There's something, something's up, something's up here. Um, you know, I'm sure, you know, you can go around and get some type of ethanol test on the gas, but you know, people just don't care, you know? They're in such crazy fear-mongering mindsets. They're not going to think of this stuff. They're more worried about how much more money they're spending on gas and how broke they are. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed my take on this topic. So if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank defoncom to support me through all of my businesses. Uh, since yesterday was Memorial Day, uh, I didn't do the regular Frankie's Meat Vlog. But we're going to have a lot of interesting stuff to talk about tomorrow. So if you guys haven't tuned into the vlogs lately, uh, you can uh, see what the latest drama is. I'll see you guys tomorrow.